back to my channel. I'm Rachel, the owner and creator here at the Eclectic Cottage in Spokane, Washington. Today is Tuesday and I have a thrift haul for you guys. And you can probably see that my background is just a little bit different than what you're used to seeing. Uh, we had a couple furniture items that we got in our haul that needed to be dropped off here at home. And so since I was doing that, I, I wanted to kind of get my filming done. So I figured I'd just unload the car really quick and do my thrift haul for you and get it uploaded early tomorrow. So uh, please excuse my mess too. I went into the cottage today and uh, worked on rearranging and resetting everything. And this is Mama Kitty. She's very demanding. She's my outdoor uh, cat here at the at the house, and she's our little gopher hunter. So she's uh, insistent on having her attention tonight. Anyway, um, let's start with what what I've got on the table. I'll show you guys, and then we'll get to the furniture. So I did go to one. Uh, Yard sale. Actually, I went to two yard sales on my way to work on Saturday, and I picked these up at one of them. I thought they were just really cute. They're just little uh, shelves. Uh, they were five dollars a piece. The gal looked like it was she had some sort of a business that she was shutting down or something, and she had a bunch of kind of neat stuff. But some of the prices were a little high for me, unfortunately. But so I grabbed both of those. Then the Goodwill. <clears throat> There was a coupon uh, online for 20% off, not just one thing, but your entire purchase. So I was really, really excited uh, to save some money at Goodwill this go round. So I, I got a few pieces and the furniture especially was an excellent deal this time. So anyway, I got this cup and mug. Um, this is from Aeropostale, no, Anthropology. This is Anthropology and it was 99 cents. So, and then of course I got 20% off and then I got these two little angel planters I thought were so sweet. There's this one that's just plain ivory. It's pretty tiny, uh, but I just thought it was cute for $2.99. mama. And then this one with some gold on it. It's a little bit bigger and this one was $4.99. So I thought they were really cute. So I grabbed both of those. <coughs> These I thought were adorable. They were a little bit higher priced than I would have liked to pay. They're $2.99 a piece. Uh, but in a spring display, I thought these would be so cute. So um, I went ahead and got them. So I got those. And then I got this cute little chicken. Uh, I thought it was just really adorable. They were actually just putting this out when we were there. This was only $1.99, which I thought was an excellent price for it. So I grabbed that too. And then, excuse all the walking. I'm putting things back in my car as I'm talking. So I grabbed these. This is a cute little sugar bowl. It's got such cute blue detail on it. Uh, it's made in Bavaria. Um, Edenstein or something like that so I just thought it was super cute with the little silver accents and then this cute little creamer I thought was adorable this was a little bit more than I would have liked to spend too at $2.99 uh, and it's nothing vintage or fancy or anything like that but it's got such cute shape and so and I like the color so I grabbed it anyway cleaning yourself on tape that's not cool man <laughs> and then I got this little guy I think it's another sugar I'm really not sure but this was only a 99 cents so I grabbed it there's no maker's mark or anything on the bottom I just liked the handles and the shape of it and the color so I went ahead and, and bought it and then this shelf was $7.99 and it's wood I just thought it was really neat. I love the detail on it. I don't know that I'm actually going to do anything to this. I might just go ahead and clean it up and sell it as is. So, um, but I, I really liked it. So I grabbed that. Then this little thing, I know it's for Christmas, uh, but we saw it and my husband's like, there's no price on it because I asked him. And so he went and asked, and I think they gave it to us for either $2.99 or $3.99. I'm pretty sure it's vintage. 
Uh, if it's not, even it's just really cute. Um, I, I think it'll be a great addition to a Christmas display. So grab that. Then these two metal candle holders, nothing super special about them. They were just clear or they were uh, the red tag price. So they were half off, which made them each 250. So I went ahead and grabbed them. They're great for um, decor pieces that I that I have like little owls or pots or stuff like that um, to give some height to display. So I like to have these around. I don't know again if I'm going to paint them or anything like that. We'll see once I clean them how the finish looks and then I'll decide from there. I've got this little copper colored watering can. It's not actual copper, mind you. It's just copper colored, but I thought it was cute. Uh, metal watering cans tend to be kind of expensive retail, so and this was only five bucks. So I went ahead and grabbed it. Good mom. This was a red tag item, which made it $2.50. Um, these are kind of fun for like little bottles and things. Uh, I just like the shape of it. I like the color, so... Uh, I went ahead and added that to my pile and almost done with the small stuff. So I grabbed this little pumpkin. This was $1.99 for this little metal thing. It holds a tea light. So I thought that was super cute for fall. And then this little crate. So this will be a fun project at some point. Uh, maybe put some uh, decoupage paper or something on it. So, and this one was only $2.99. So then I got at the one of the yard sales I went to, I got this adorable little deer planter. He's a little wobbly, needs a little bit of work, but I just thought he was fun. So I grabbed him. Um, if I don't sell him. I might just keep him and put him on my own porch here in my Christmas display. I'm not really sure yet, but I thought he was pretty cute and I think I paid three dollars for him. So, and then this thing here, this trike, came with the pot in it. Um, I think they charged me five for this with the pot full of dirt and so in this little uh, metal trike and I thought that was pretty cool for five dollars. Um, so I'll definitely put this probably out in my nursery. So that's that. Then we got these guys at one of the Goodwills. My husband kind of asked me, he's like, those really aren't your style normally. You can see they've got kind of a texture to them. Uh, I don't know if that was the way they came retail or if somebody did that to them on purpose. But I thought maybe it'd be kind of a fun uh, way, you know, just a starting point to paint them. Uh, kind of different. I don't know. I'll look into it and see what I want to do with them. But they were also red tags. So again, they were $2.50 each, which is mainly why I got them. And then this adorable little footstool. It's very loosey-goosey. Definitely needs some tightening. <laughs> but um, this was only $2 at one of the yard sales. And I absolutely love the top of it. So cute. It's nothing vintage or anything. It's got a little Chinese sticker right here. So it's it's nothing that's old. It's just made to look that way. Um, I honestly really kind of like it just the way it is, but I'll probably give it a paint job. I'm not going to do anything, I don't think, to the top. It's made to be very distressed and it looks kind of cute. So um, anyway, for two bucks, I had to have it. Got this for $8 at one of the Goodwills. And so, and of course, mind you, everything was 20% off on top of the, the normal price. So I didn't feel too bad about spending eight bucks on it. It's not the sturdiest little thing in the world. It's kind of a little bit wonky, but um, this will be cute out in the nursery. It's metal and it folds up, which is nice. So it'll store really, really beautifully um, come winter. <laughs> so anyways, I grabbed that for $8. And then... I got a couple tables and I was really happy. This one was only 10. It's kind of got a weird tray top to it, but um, I just thought it was kind of pretty and fun. I love the, the legs. It looks like somebody's dog chewed on this. I will probably um, sand this, bondo it, and then sand it again to get it nice and smooth. Uh, it's also got a little crack right here. It's gonna need a little attention, but um, for 10 bucks, I thought it was a nice little, um, you know, side table, something, an accent, uh, maybe a fun color. Who knows? We'll see. 
Then I got this one for $12.99. And then I got home tonight and was pulling it out and realized the top of it's actually got a big crack in it. So I don't think I really got a great deal on this, but it's cute. Um, and if you don't look really close, you can't see the crack. <laughs> so um, I might just put this out in my nursery anyway. Um, and even if I keep it for myself and just use it as a display item, that'd be okay for $12.99. <laughs> And then I got a pot. I'm going to try and lift it and show you guys. It's very heavy. Ooh. So this one, hopefully you can see it okay. This was also at the one of the yard sales. I paid 10 for it. Came with a little roller that you can roll it around on. Uh, it's very heavy, obviously. And so I am going to put this out in the nursery as well. Uh, so I'm going to let my husband load that back up in the car for me so he can take it to the cottage tomorrow. And then lastly, I got a couple pieces of furniture that I was kind of excited about, uh, especially since they were 20% off. So I got this awesome antique table. This thing was regularly $35, $34.99. Um, and of course, with the 20% off, that made it around 26, 27, something like that. So about $30. Uh, and it's just really pretty. I love all the, this detail on the legs. Uh, not sure exactly what I'm gonna do with it yet. The top of it is in pretty darn good shape. It's got a really cool pattern in the wood and um, I'm really hopeful that I can sand it down. The only problem is it is a veneer and the veneer is kind of chipped in a few places. So I don't know, I don't know if that's going to actually work. So we'll see what I come up with for this. Worst case, the whole thing will get a paint job, uh, but it's a beautiful piece and it'll look beautiful painted too. And um, it'll, it'll get to live another life and not go to the landfill. So, which is awesome. Definitely going to have to do some gluing of the veneer in a few places it looks like. It's funny how when you get these up to eye level, you see different things that you didn't see before. Um, so anyway, there's that and then I'm going to take the camera down and I'm going to show you the desk that I got really quick um, It was $30 so $29.99 and it's a nice solid wood desk. It's got dovetail drawers uh, So it'll be another project piece looks like somebody used um, Like a latex type paint on it. So I might have to strip and sand it. We'll see um, But uh, well, we'll just see what I do with it. I, I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know if I'm going to resand the top. I'm not really keen on the wash that they did on it. So anyway, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like up close. So here it is. You can see I love the handles. I think I'm going to keep those. And there's a couple of the drawers that definitely need stops. And it's got some Mars and some, you know, some areas where it's gotten uh, damaged. And then here's the top. Again, I think I'll probably re-stain it at some point. But it's a good piece of furniture. Like I said, it's nice and heavy, heavy duty. Uh, it's not a huge desk, which is good. Anyway, as I was saying, it'll be really cute when it's done. So um, I'm excited to do something with it. Uh, but for now, it's going to go in our garage <laughs> until I'm ready to actually work on it. I have several project pieces at the cottage that need to be done now, and I just don't have room for any more. So <laughs> that's why it's here. Anyway, that's it from here for tonight, you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. I so appreciate that. If you haven't already, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and then just hit that little notification bell so you don't miss anything. And then drop a comment below. Let me know if you had a favorite uh, item tonight uh, in my haul. So I don't know. I think I really like my little deer. I think he's just really cute. So, um, but I also really love this table. So I don't know. I don't know if I have an absolute favorite, but I feel like I really lucked out and got some great things this go around, which was nice. Um, anyway, for Friday's video, I'm really hoping to have a thrift haul for you guys, or not thrift haul, a thrift flip for you guys. So, um, stay tuned for that. Until then, I hope you have a wonderful week and I really appreciate you guys being here. Thank you so much. And I will see you on Friday. Bye.